In this video, I'm going to show you how to sell videos on demand with Squarespace. Now, this is a relatively new feature. Uh, they recently introduced video collections. So if I click on this plus icon here, it reveals videos as a collection type. Um, and what's unique about this new collection type is that you can upload video content directly to Squarespace. Um, which you couldn't do before. So let's add a video. You can see there's a, a three hour max limit and then you have overall storage. So um, I, I just paid for the membership plan um, to have a members only area. And so that gives you five additional hours of video storage, but without it, you have 30 minutes. So, um, I would upload a video here, um, add some some description, and essentially I could I can use this for like course content. Um, and the reason I'm using this today is because uh, my wife and I recently created this remote life drawing experience, where um, the the life drawing is is actually a film, and within the film uh, there are several poses that are revealed within the film and uh, participants can you know pay to get access to the film and then they can participate and draw those poses or paint or whatever medium they desire and so the way we currently have have it set up this is the the landing page um is there's a a link a gumroad link and the the film is currently uploaded to gumroad and so from there someone could rent and get access to it for 30 days and, and stream it for up to 72 hours, or they can buy and have access to it as, as much as they want. Now, this is a great, um, this is a great first iteration, you know, it, it gets the job done, but I think upgrade into using members areas uh, would be the next logical iteration of this particular project, because with members areas, um, we can now not just showcase one film, but we could add uh, several films to the collection. And, you know, people can pay for, for, for access once. We can create different pricing structures around it. Um, and that's not to say you can't do the same with Gumroad. It's just the benefit is, is having it all in one place. Um, your website becomes now the home of your community as well, or a home or a space for them to engage deeper. Um, and so, yeah, let's let's quickly go through how to set this up. Now, the first thing that I did when exploring this was I created a video collection and realized that in order to make it sell on demand, I needed to turn on members areas. So to turn on members areas, you go to settings and then member areas and then from there you pay for the appropriate member area plan i think there's three or maybe four the first one it's ten dollars a month and you get you get to create one member area and within that you can have unlimited members so that's what what i currently have set up and once you've done that you can drag your video collection up into your members only area. And now there's a couple of things that we want to do. One, we, this is what uh, someone would see when they're signed in, but if they're not signed in, let me uh, see if I can show you what that would look like. They would see an access denied screen, which looks like this. And so you can change the, the headline and description here and make sure the join button is on. And so if someone were to uh, try to check this out, this is what they would see and they didn't have access. This is what they would see. And so if they click join, it would open up a, a way for them to sign up and then pay and check out to, to get access. Now, this isn't the optimal way to sell your member area. Um, I think the best, the best way to do that is to create a, a sales page specifically for that. 
and what I did was I duplicated I duplicated this page we already have here. Here's the copy. And what I did is instead of the the Gumroad button link, I have uh, a link to to join the members area. So if I click this plus sign and scroll down to member sign up, then this lets me choose the members area that I want to you know, highlight there, you can center it, turn off different elements. Maybe I just want the button. Um, whatever I want to do, I could do it. And so now uh, someone would click join here, they would check out, and then they would get access to, they would get access to the film and they'd be able to participate um, and then, you know, they'd also have access to additional content that gets uploaded to this members area. So, um, okay, final thing. Um, when you're logged into your members area, you have the option to uh, change how the navigation appears. So let me show you that really quickly. Uh, feel free to leave some questions if you have any in the comments. Um, but here I am in the member area settings, and I'm going down to member navigation. And so this lets me know what, what members are going to see in the navigation once they're logged in. So I could replace it, uh, or I could not show it at all, um, or I can have it show in the customer account panel. Um, I have it set to replace, and... If someone was not logged in, they're just going to see the main navigation link, which I've made members only as well. And so let me delete this and uh, see the perspective from someone who, who's not a member, right? Um, this is what they would see. And then once they're logged in, this is what they would see. So I would, you know, I'd probably change this. Uh, you know, you, you you just got to make it make sense for whatever it is that you're trying to do. And sometimes it takes a little bit of a couple of iterations or tweaks to get there. But the overall structure of how to set this up is relatively simple and uh, definitely efficient if you're trying to create this type of business model or leverage this type of business model where um, you have a a members only section to, to sell on demand videos. All right. Hopefully you found this useful as usual and um, see you in the next video. Peace.